Now with open source crawl AI, you can scrap any information from any website in a structure that you specify with LLM or without LLM. Then let's go. Before we start, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you will get notified for the next video. Thank you. All right, welcome to open source crawl for AI, which is again an open source package that let you scrap information from web or any given URL without you necessarily dealing with headaches of scrapping web stuff, which is not really easy. And at the same time, not only it will give you the output of content from web, but also it will structure in a way you specify and you can integrate with LLM for even more structured output and empower your LLM with the results you receive from crawl for ai which the name obviously says uh, it's a python language uh, package that can help you to crawl information for your ai application and we're going to tell you specifically how it uses some backend mo ml models by itself and also how you can integrate that with LLM. So they have also a live demo. You can give it a try. You paste any URL. Not only if you retrieve you the information, but also it will give you a screenshot of that website or URL you specify here. But in order to do so, I'm going to actually run through a code example to show you how it works. I'm going to write on Google Colab and I will add the link of that code in Discord channel. And the link of the Discord channel is below on the video section, video description here. You go to the Discord channel, there is a section called reference, and you should see the link of the code that I'm going to run quickly for testing out crawl for AI. So going back to my Google Colab, this is a code I ran before I recorded this video, and I was able to simply install crawl for AI directly through the GitHub. And by the way, make sure you have also Pydantic installed, and you just need to import crawler instance for having crawler for AI started working for you, which I did it successfully. And let's say here's a website that I want to grab some information uh, from using web uh, crawl for AI, crawl for AI. So here's a website. It actually came with the example that I grabbed the code from crawl for AI. And going back to the code, you specify the URL and you just give it a try with the word count threshold that you can also specify if you want to. And I am printing just the markdown of the results, not the whole results. And it's successfully saying that crawling was done after this time taken the content extracted and also semantic block got is extracted this is an interesting thing because crawl for ai not only extract information but it can create blocks out of those information or chunk the information that it received from the scrapped uh, website and how it chunk that there are different ways of blo uh, creating blocks out of that information one of them is just based on semantics. So let me talk about how crawl for ai can create chunks of extracted data from the content. So here's the chunking strategies. You can simply use regex, which is based on some specific pattern that takes you specify. It can do the chunking for you. Or, and it says also when to use and some parameters, etc. An example of that in Python, for example, here's a regex provided in a pattern. It can also use NLP or natural language machine learning based sentence chunking that uses some NLP techniques to actually to create the chunks. So it says that also when you need to use and there's no parameter for that and here's an example. The other way to do so is topic segmentation chunking. So it uses text styling algorithm to segment the text into topic based chunks. This is actually pretty good. You don't need to also utilize other machinery models and stuff as you can see it's directly coming from crawl for ai package what else uh, we have fixed length for chunking it's obviously using the the length that you specify for that chunking and sliding window chunking as well the same thing it uses some overlap based approach which is very well known and that's pretty much all and if you don't specify it doesn't necessarily do chunking so going back to get google, uh, google collab notebook so now you should understand the semantic blocks so of what does that mean. Again, you can print also the content if you want to. Not only that, if there are images included in the website, it will extract the description of those images as well. This is different than giving an image to LLM model to create a description for you. It's all about a description that is already in the website. To give you an example here, this is a picture, and this is the description of this picture, right? 
So that's how it is also the image is extracted with the Im uh, description specified. You can see the images are PNG format or JPEG format from the website I showed you. And the uh, description of that image from this website is also captured for me properly. Again, as I, talk I talked about it, you can also capture a screenshot from the URLs. For example, this is a URL, and when you extract information, you can also see the screenshot captured from this. You have to make sure you put a, a screenshot equal to true. I was trying to display it. Actually, I think it has some difficulties because I'm running on Google Colab. You can run it locally, and by the way, you can th install this package through Docker. They support Docker as well. Now, if you want to extract structured output from this web in a, in a nice, clean schema that you specify, that's a good way to integrate Crawl for AI with LLM. So you need to specify your LLM key here, mine for OpenAI. I removed that before I record this video. And then I ran this code. So what this code does, I'm going to go through OpenAI API pricing. This is the website, actually. You can see there are some information about different models and pricings to the dates that I'm recording this video. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to extract these three fields in a structure that I want that just give me the model name, the input and output fee of those models coming from this website. So that's how you specify the parameters you want. And the extraction strategy, you say this is an LLM, I want to use GPT-40 mini. And here's the schema I provide on the top. And by the way, here's some information that we're going to grab from uh, this website and the classes that I want to. That's all. I grabbed it and look at this, the JSON dump output. I have the model name, input fee, output fee. Any error? No. False. This is great. So I got just a structured clean data from a website without you necessarily doing web scrapping, uh, cleaning, pre-processing, so on and so forth. You can just grab that power of LLM and here I'm using Mini, which is pretty cheap. Okay, next, what I can do, another example. So I'm right now I'm using Marketplace Visual Studio website to grab this information, the title, summary, brief summary, and keywords of that page that I'm scrapping. Again, describing that instruction, which is technically my prompt, and the same code that I showed in the top, so I'm quickly passing over. And there you go, there's all the JSON that is about the website that I scrapped, the summary, brief summary, keywords, and the structure that I specify here. In case for some of our friends that are comfortable with JS or CSS and they want to scrap a specific section of the website using let's say CSS or define that through JS, they can do that as well. So here's my JS code and here's the URL that I'm going to uh, grab some information with the CSS selection P and just that relevant information has been captured for me. All right, so that was a very quick overview about Crawl for AI. And again, this is actually a tool that has lots of other examples that you can go through that. If you go to ex under examples, you can see some examples they provide on top. And even under API reference section, they have some section called advanced feature that you can take a look. For example, screenshot was one that we talked about. And you can extract media and links out of the given URL. And uh, some other information that you can go through that and give it a try. It's very easy to install and supports Python. And I hope introducing these services like this one will be helpful for your projects. So give it a try. Enjoy. Happy learning. And if you like the video, I'd be very thankful if you click on like icon and of course share your uh, thoughts in the comment section. Thank you all. The bitterness of being hopeless on achieving something is better than keep asking from others to achieve the same. Dream big, my friends. Believe in yourself and take action. Till next video, take care.